My name is David Wilcox, and I am a paleontologist, and I hunt for fossils. This is about 300 million years old. A fossil is evidence of ancient life preserved in rock or sediment where some kind of mineralization of that remain has taken place. The likelihood or the availability of finding a fossil is limited by rock type. There are three rock types, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. Only the last rock type has abundant fossils, or the possibility of abundant fossils. To find a fossil, I look at areas that have sedimentary rock or sediment exposed at the surface. I found this site uh, that's halfway between German and Archbold, Pennsylvania. Expect to find plant fossils from the Pennsylvanian period. So these will be about 300 million years old. A lot of water, a lot of forests, heavy plant growth. So this is a green, swampy, birdless world. No dinosaurs yet. Look at that. To the right there. I think that's it. Look at all that exposure. Ah, I think this is it. Let's try to find this grayer patch here. It looks like a little more shale. Yeah, this is my spot. This is my spot. Oh, 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 look at that. This rock is shale with some sandstone. I'm gonna break this open, see what's inside. Oh, not much. It was just on the outside. I'll try this one. Whoa. This branch was as big as my arm. The reason why one can't find fossils everywhere is that sedimentary rocks and sediments are not exposed everywhere. The fern called Neuropterus. It was the most common fern of, from this region at this time, the Pennsylvanian period. This is about 300 million years old. So this is 50 million years older than any dinosaur. And then up here, look at this. We've got fern on top of fern. Look at that. We got one fern, another one, and then two little ones on top. This is beautiful. This is also Neuropterus. There is some kind of a plant stem that's maybe the thickness of two of my fingers that's plunging into this piece of shale here. I'm going to try to chip around this part to see if I can uncover more of that stem. So there's one section here, and then another section here. And it looks like this is the impression of a different stalk that fell on top of that one. But nice three-dimensional preservation. Beautiful. I like finding fossils because it illustrates the, the Earth's past. And I like knowing the different environments that have occurred throughout the planet over its 4.5 billion year history. And fossils are our window into the, the organisms that lived in the ancient past. To start looking for fossils, you have to ask yourself some questions. One question would be, what kind of fossil would you like to find? And the other question would be, are you limited to finding fossils near where you live? 